Happy New Year! It is 2015. We are up and going this morning. Mommy had a late night, but I stayed up and watched the Disney Parks fireworks. They actually were 11 o'clock our time, and then I stayed up to upload some videos around midnight on my channels. I still have one more to upload I on Bags for Bubbles. With Daddy. Yeah, Bella was asleep. Daddy was asleep. Natalie was asleep, but Mommy was still awake. So we are going to watch the playback of the Disney Parks fireworks for the girls on YouTube on our TV so they can see those. Well, my plan was thwarted because our, apparently our remote doesn't fast forward and you have to fast forward to the end of this to get it to go. So I'm going to look at my computer so I can go to the end of it. Me! You like those ones? Yeah, I like them too. On. Nope, there's still some more. One more time. Yeah, the Mickey's gonna do a countdown in a minute. Ready? Here we go. We've got a couple 2015 worksheets that I printed off from Google. This one's from activityvillage.co.uk. It's just like a writing worksheet. I thought it'd be good to write the date. And this cute little one is alligator. I thought it was a dinosaur at first. And this one came from Coloring Guru. And I just found all these by, you know, searching 2015 coloring sheets. So I'm going to put these out on the desk for the girls. It is rest time and Bella's done resting. We just downloaded Mickey's Magic Academy and we're looking at it for the first time. So I'll let you know what we think about it. They have that Tomorrowland movie coming out and they've got Miles from Tomorrowland coming out on Disney Junior. I think they're really kind of pushing the Tomorrowland stuff right now because this is like all space themed. It's really cute. She's over here building a rocket. And we're gonna watch Rio tonight before we go to bed in bath time. Natalie's down in the oatmeal this morning. <laughs> this is the second container. I need some more, oh, um, more, um, more yogurt. More yogurt. Where are you putting it? You've got to be full of yogurt by now. Can you get more? Oh out of dear! Apparently, this one's going through a growth thing. spurt. Hey guys, it's Daddy, and it is January 2nd, and we are just having another low-key hanging out around the house day. And Natalie is apparently starving today. She is on her third container of yogurt, and she just asked for a sandwich, and it is 8.45 in the morning. So anyhow, apparently I have girls spurting Natalie. But uh, we're just hanging out around the house. We are about four days out from when my husband had the sinus surgery. All things considered, he's doing really well. He had a couple days where he's feeling really good, and then he kind of started feeling not so great yesterday. But all in all, um, it seems like he's recovering pretty well, and everything's like well within the range of you know what was to be expected and all that i'm just really on the good side so anyhow um he probably hopefully will feel back to normal a little bit more next week but they said it takes like a number of weeks to kind of feel like yourself again from that so we're just kind of hanging around the house we didn't do a whole lot for new year's she needs some yogurt <laughs> she's on her third one um but uh, I had a couple clips from yesterday. I'm not generally the biggest fan of like combining days together, just it's my own nitpicky brain. But I probably for this vlog, you guys will know obviously because you're watching, I'll probably just put the couple clips from yesterday on the front and then whatever we do today, which is not going to be a full day in the life. But I thought I would share, I'm going to start putting away Christmas decorations today. And Natalie is apparently going to get a world record for eating the most yogurt in one day ever. You need more yogurt? Mm. 
All right, more yogurt. So I got one of the trees down in the family room and I've started working on the tree that's in the living room. I've got all the ornaments off of it, but I still have to take the actual tree down. And then I'll just work on getting all of the kind of miscellaneous the Christmas stuff down. that is kind of out and about everywhere and put that away. And then all the snowman stuff I'll probably leave up to like the end of January-ish. And then I'll put up the Valentine's Day stuff, which I don't actually have that much, but we'll leave the snowman out for a little bit longer. So that's what we're going to do today. So I thought I'd film it just a little bit. Now and, we can go to Target. And we also had to go to Target today actually too. She is right. To get more yogurt, right? Because <laughs> she's going to eat us out of house and home over here. Container. She's eaten two of the Target ones, and this Yoplait one was like all we had left. And she's uh, pretty pretty convinced that she needs the whole thing. It's all gone. Yeah, well, it is almost all gone. Mm -hmm. Alright, I got the kitchen bins up from the basement. I've also got the tree box. So I think I'm going to do the tree first because it'll actually be easier. Gigantic tree box. Gigantic Bella with socks on her hands. Hmm. Are you These a pony? Are only my gloves. Oh, you have gloves on your hands? They're not. That means I don't have to freeze people. Oh, I see. We have Elsa. All right, so this tree is actually super easy because it comes apart in the three pieces. So, other than the star hopefully not following on me, it's just super easy because there's no electrical dumb plug or anything. You just pop it right out. It's so easy. I love this tree. It's so easy to freeze boxes into ice boxes. Freeze ice boxes into ice boxes. One second. And then when Daddy was sleeping down here when he wasn't feeling great, so we gotta move all this stuff back over. I'll have to freeze this box for sure. That means it is going to be a ice tree ice box. Ice tree, ice box. Right. And the next piece is actually the biggest piece, but it just goes pop. And then all the electrical is in this thing. Yep, as Bella is demonstrating. Here, close that for me. Uh, I Thank you. Really no how. And that is that. And it came with this handy dandy tree stand that just does this. Ta da! And the tree is put away. So the tree is actually really super quick to put up and put away. And these bins are pretty much all kitchen stuff, so it's pretty straightforward. So just to put things back into the boxes where they go, and I have like, even the paper labeled and all that of what goes in there. So I just have to start rounding up everything. The only thing with the kitchen stuff is some stuff still needs to get washed, like it's been used lately. So I'll just, you know, leave a space for the things that need to get washed. I'm actually going to be really sad to put this plate away. I really like this plate in this spot, so I may try to find something similar to this. Because I really liked, like I just felt like this was the best. Just kind of brings all the colors in that thing, which I really like. And this, which I do still really like. Just kind of brought it all together. So I do really like this plate. I'm about halfway through and I feel like they're fairly empty for how much stuff I still see sitting around. I don't know if I'm packing more efficiently. I'll go through and I'll change like what's on these lists. Because I think I changed a couple of things, like moved around like what boxes they were in or whatever. So... That may be helping kind of condense everything down and conserve space. Well, I spoke too soon because I have a lot of these empty tin things that you like give cookies in or send cookies to work in. And those fill up the box really quickly. So apparently that's what that box is full of. And I thought I took my Christmas plates and my little Christmas sign down from my plate kind of holder area. And I thought I would put my castle plates up since I'm going to be going back in January. I thought that it would be a cute little... January decoration up there, so we're gonna have Cinderella Castle and Sleeping Beauty Castle down there. Take a snack. And then we're gonna take a break real quick and go get some lunch. No, now we changed back into her nightgown for some reason. We went and picked up Chinese food for lunch. I remember, I remember, my name is Isabella. From now on, I'll call you Isabella. Okay. <laughs> Isabella, that has a nice ring to it. <laughs> Your phone's gonna be calling you Isabella now. I've been to Disney World before. <laughs> For dinner, I'm gonna make a version of the pork carnitas. So I'm gonna use these boneless, skinless chicken breast tenderloins. I'm gonna put some salsa and some rotel and probably some corn in here. Then we'll have that on tortillas tonight. So I'll just let that simmer all day and that'll be dinner. What did you say when we got stuck? 
we're gonna go to Target. We are gonna go run to Target real quick and go grocery shopping, which I'll probably post as a different video, but we are gonna go we're grab some gonna things. Go get <laughs> Taking Pella with me. We and then we'll finish putting these bins stuff. away. What'd we get? We got some stuff. <laughs> All right, so let's go grocery My shopping. My pal's pet, his name's Beauty, the younger sleeping kitten. <laughs> She's very cute. We're taking Beauty with us, but we're gonna leave her in the car, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So she can rest and not get lost. And not get lost, exactly. We don't want to lose her. All right, let's go to Target. We gotta go get groceries. All right, so I just got a grocery haul. <laughs> These guys were trying to Happy not New talk Year. in the back. They wanted to talk so bad. Happy, Happy New Year! Year. Happy New Year. So now it's the point in the grocery haul where they run over and they start picking out the things that they want to eat. You want to eat a banana, Natalie? Yeah. Stomping Elsa here. Oh. And loving those batteries again. Hooray! Let go. Let it go. We just read this book and she's putting the order that things happen in the back. Good job, Isabella. You're gonna brush loving. <laughs> oh, and this is kind of sad. Look at what the January calendar is. It's uh, the sorcerers had it. I started to say MGM. Uh, the sorcerers had a Hollywood Studios, which they're actually taking down this month. I'm hoping they're just gonna, you know, move it to a different place on property. But that's kind of sad. That that's the picture on January, and they're taking it down this month. <laughs> It's too small for loving. But it's perfect for me. This stuff is for my favorite fashion. Oh, those are your favorite fashions. See? We're going to have some chicken tacos with some scoops and refried beans for dinner. So we are going to watch the end of Rio tonight, but I thought I would show you real quick what I picked up at Hobby Lobby. And I spent about $30. And the first couple of things are I'm going to try to make headpieces, like for the Disney bounding, to put in my hair. So I thought I'd get this Lily for Mulan. And then I just need the flower off of this for Sleeping Beauty, the rose. And I don't need like the rest of the corsage stuff. But I'm going to try to make little hair clips out of those. And then for this next thing, I'm going to be making a Valentine's Day wreath for our door. And someone tagged me. I, I, I can't remember whether it was on Facebook or Twitter. I want to say it was Twitter. Um, but I had seen this on my Pinterest account and I had penned it at one point and I had kind of thought about trying to figure out a way to do this but it seems like it's pretty straightforward just from what I saw. So I'll go lay all this stuff out. So I got three wreath bases and some black burlap and a pink ribbon and I bet you can guess what I'm going to be making for Valentine's Day. So I think that this is going to be like super cute. So I'm going to work on this maybe next week and make a Minnie Mouse wreath for our door for Valentine's Day. I thought this would be really cute. So I'm just going to do all these wreath frames in the black burlap and then make a pink bow and then hang it from pink ribbon at the top and that's going to be our Valentine's Day wreath, so I'll definitely share what this looks like when I'm all done with it. He just downloaded the For Real app. He's with the puppy. I love this doggy. <laughs> so we can, you can feed her, you can play games with her. You want to give her some food? Yeah. Tonight we're going to be using the Princess Bath Bomb from Basin, and these have like a secret surprise in them, the Princess and the Pirates okay. one do. So I'm going to be really interested to see what the secret surprise is. I've been posting pictures of what the water looks like on Instagram. So It's pink. So here's what it looks like. I want to help. It's almost done fizzing. It's right there. And we see what's left over after it's done fizzing. This is just a night. Nice rose color water. And there was the princess surprise down in the bottom of the tub. So make sure it doesn't go down your drain. <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed hanging out with us. And thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.